हेलो स्टूडेंट वेलकम टू क्लास टेन वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट द फर्स्ट चैप्टर ऑफ केमिस्ट्री ऑफ क्लास टेन दैट इज केमिकल रिएक्शन एंड इक्वेशन बिफोर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट दिस चैप्टर I want to say something about the chapter of chemistry of previous classes. That is class nine. In class nine, you have learned the chapter atom and molecule. This step chapter is very important before starting the chemical reaction and equation because. in this chapter the symbol radical symbol and valency of ions that are positively charged ion or cations and negatively charged ion or anions are given these are very important while writing the chemical formula of any molecules in chemical equation the chemical formula of molecules are very important without knowing the concept of chemical formula of molecule it is not possible to write the correct chemical equation so i am again tell you that before starting this chapter first of all you learn all radicals with their symbol and valency and also revise how to write the chemical formula of any molecule by exchanging their valency then after we will start the new chapter okay so i hope you will do it because you have already written this valency and symbol in your class 9th notebook now come to the main point now now there are different topics in chemical reaction and equation the first topic is chemical reaction we know in earlier classes we have learnt about the physical and chemical change okay everyone learned about it that uh, the physical changes are those in which no new substances are formed like melting of candle cutting of apples but in chemical changes new substances are formed like burning of candle cooking of food etc so these concept are <coughs> very very important to learn about the chemical reaction because chemical changes means chemical reaction that can be explained about like chemical reaction the process in which the original substances lose their nature and identity and form new chemical substances with different properties are called chemical changes the process involving chemical changes is called chemical reaction so i think there is no basic differences between chemical changes and chemical reaction again in chemical reactions there are different terms like reactant and product as we know the reactant are the chemical substances taken originally means the reactants are those chemical substances that combine together to give new substance that is product while the product is the new substances formed 
after chemical reaction now come to the next page there are some bad examples of the chemical reaction like burning of magnesium ribbon in air when magnesium combined with oxygen means magnesium is burnt in the presence of oxygen magnesium oxide is formed in this reaction magnesium and oxygen are the reactants because they are written on the left hand side of the chemical reaction magnesium oxide is product it is written on the right hand side of the reaction there is a point of separation that is called arrow this one that separate the reactants and products this one can be written in the form of formula also like magnesium mg oxygen o2 gives magnesium oxide this is the balanced chemical equation because number of molecules of each one is given now here magnesium and oxygen are reactants while magnesium oxide is product here there are some abbreviation like s means solid state l means liquid state g means gaseous state and aq means aqueous solution these are the physical state of the reactant and product aqueous solution is well known to you because in class 9 you have learned the solution in which solvent is water whatever the solute is said to be aqueous solution now come to the next page that is characteristics of chemical reaction means whenever chemical reaction start that can be that sorry explained by different properties means characteristics of chemical reaction means that can be also defined as the easily observable changes that takes place in a chemical reaction is called characteristics of chemical reactions there are five characteristics of chemical reaction they are as follow evolution of gas changes in color change in state change in temperature and formation of precipitate the number one first one is evolution of gas in the lab you have already seen that when zinc metal is added to the aqueous solution of hydrochloric acid then hydrogen gas is formed and you have enjoyed also how can we identify by uh, the hydrogen gas can you explain ah uh, yes everyone can be identify by when match burning match stick is brought near them then popping sound is produced did you enjoy it in the earlier classes okay everyone enjoyed it so this is evolution of gas the next one is change in color that is explained by the following chemical reaction as when lead nitrate is treated with potassium iodide then yellow color of potassium iodide is obtained third one is change in state change in state means change in physical state if the physical state of reactant and product are different from one another that means there is a change in physical state here by this equation we can say that 
there is a change in physical state because here carbon is existing in the solid form but on the right side on the product side there is a gaseous formish form of the carbon monoxide now come to the next page that is the fourth characteristics change in temperature actually during the change in temperature there are two cases either rise in temperature or fall in temperature if there is a rise in temperature then reaction would be exothermic means during that reaction heat is evolved it can be explained by this example when quick lime that is calcium oxide is added to the water then select lime is formed and large amount of heat energy is also released in see this one this here there is a beaker that has water by adding quick lime we are, and uh, while touching our hand we feel hotness that explain the evolution of heat the second one that is endothermic in which heat is absorbed means when barium hydroxide reacts with ammonium chloride then barium chloride and ammonium hydroxide are formed this can be explained by taking in the test tube while touching the test tube we feel cool to touch okay the last one is the formation of a precipitate that can be explained by the previous example that when lead nitrate react with potassium iodide then lead iodide that is yellow in color this can be denoted by arrow in the downward direction that explains the yellow precipitate precipitate means an insoluble solid that emerge from a liquid solution it has characteristics colors so this is the contents of the first video now before going to start in the second video i hope we will meet one another by that you all will revise the radicals again i am telling you you must revise the ions their valency their symbol the way of writing their chemical formula that will help you to understand the next topic clearly